I want to show you another feature that's available in Android Studio that allows you to import and open sample code to help with Android development. First, let's start a new project and we can just call this sample code and go with the defaults, choose next and go next. And instead of creating, you could, you could select a template if you want it. Um, for our purposes, I'm just going to click no activity and choose finish. From here, I want to show you what we call the sample browser, which if you go to file new and then choose import sample, this is going to launch and open a uh, series of available code samples. And this comes from Google's GitHub repo, which you can also look up in GitHub. But if you're already in Android Studio, you can go through and see, and there's quite a few examples. If there's something that you're looking for, you can search. But there are just hundreds of examples. If you're trying to identify, you know, how do I work with camera? How do I work with notifications? All these various uh, elements. For example, we've got a lot dealing with the UI. Um, it's just a, a full resource that allow you to learn about how to work with uh, Android development by following the sample code. So let's go ahead and let's pick one of these and let's take a look. Let's do the emoji, good old emoji compat library. So go ahead and choose next. Then what this will do is download the project and launch a new project for us. So go ahead and choose finish. This is going to download and launch in another window. When that's complete, you may not see the window. If you click over here, choose window, and then you can switch to this. Now, in this, because the project is uh, old, sometimes these sample code projects are not updated. So, and because we are using Android Studio Beta, there is a chance that you might have some issues, but uh, typically it's going to give you an option to update and that should fix it. So let's go ahead and do that. And it looks like we need another dependency. We'll go ahead and accept that and choose next. That's one of the joys of working with Android. You do have a lot of dependencies and things that if you're working with older projects, um, or newer projects, you can install and Android Studio takes care of it for you. It really knows what dependencies you need and it, and it fixes it. So in this case, we needed to get the latest in order to do the emoji. From here, we can take a look at the source code and notice we have the main activity and so it gives us a lot of sample code to read through. And then, as we mentioned, you can navigate through the various layouts and see how things are set up. Um, and there's a lot you can learn from. So in addition to having these projects, so that was we were importing a sample by going to new import sample. But at the same time, you can also look up, let's say there's an item that we want to learn about. And so, for example, we have linear layout. Let's say I wanted to learn more about that. If I right click, I'm going to get my context menu. And from here, I want to choose find sample code. What this does is it opens an additional view that gives me a list and it searches through uh, various examples that are used in the sample code library. And from there, you can see how it's used in a number of different projects. And if you select that, then you can actually see where it's referenced in code. That's just one example. Another this also you can see where you're dealing with various uh, sample projects. So that's another way to search for or find sample code from Google. 
All right. Be sure to subscribe and look for the next video.